I make no sense, I know. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Stanzi and welcome to today's video. So today's video is another one of my dressing room try on videos and finally we are doing Best and Less. Now Best and Less is a store that I generally shop at quite often because they have quite inexpensive items and slowly slowly I'm actually starting to like this stuff more and more. Now, it's a shop that I never shopped in before. I just feel like they never really had anything. A lot of their like plus or even straight section was a little bit frumpy but it's gotten a lot better which is really great. I've been wanting to do a try on, they would have been like one of my first ones I did but their dressing rooms weren't open so I couldn't do one and I have a niece that works there and I've kept asking her when are they going to open and they were finally open so I went over and I tried on a bunch of stuff. The thing when I do these dressing room try on hauls there's always stuff that I want to buy and my pockets aren't that deep so I don't, a lot of the times I do hold back and don't buy anything. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel please feel free to hit that subscribe button below also hit that bell so you can get notified of when I upload new videos because we do stuff like this and we do lots of other stuff and vlogmas is coming guys so if you want to watch that where I'm doing a video every day in, it should probably be every day in December, it's definitely going to be every day until Christmas so which I'll record so I'm going to start recording from the first which is when, a Wednesday I want to say and we'll see where the month of December takes us. So let's get started with what I tried on over at Best and Less. Now the first item that I saw was this linen jacket. Now I'm not one for jackets really. I find them a little bit uncomfortable. I'm more of a cardigan person myself. But I knew, but I do know that jackets are in and they actually look good in summer. Like even if you're with like a summer dress or even some jeans. It really creates a good style. So I saw this one in this like a taupe kind of a cream color. And I thought let me try it on. And it actually stayed really well. Now I tried it on in a size 22 and there was room to move. I could do the button. Once I did the button it kind of stayed really uh, snugly. However the back had a little opening that once you open it gives you a little bit of room as well. Now the sleeves were nice and roomy so if you wanted to you could fold them up and do the you know how people do that like up to the elbow kind of pulled up look. I really like that look too and linen is totally in this summer so that's also with the fashion of what's in right now. The overall it stayed really really well. The length was really good. I, I actually liked it. As I don't really wear them too much I'm, I usually get way too hot in summer to wear any kind of jacket at all even indoors but if you're into something like that I would definitely say check it out because I actually really really liked it. There was pockets, it was lined on the inside. It looked like a pretty decent quality to me. That jacket retails for $40. Next up I saw this dress that was like a tie-dye looking and they had one in hot pink and one in blue. I actually first saw the blue one but then I saw pink and I was like well you know I'm a pink gal. And I tried it on and it was adorable. I really really liked it. Now I tried it on in a size 20. I feel like I went to grab a 22 but I don't know must have somehow got a 20 out of my hands. But it still fit me really well. Now it has a nice deep V neck at the front here. The straps are uh, quite thin but it comes up a little bit high so which isn't too bad at all. There's an elastic under the bust which also brings the dress in and then it's nice and flowy. It is really really pretty. What really drew me was the tassels. It has two little tassels on each side. So cute. At first I didn't think they were functioning but then I saw there's a little hole and you could pull it so if you actually needed to draw it in further you definitely could which I really really like. As I was bigger busted it kind of sat you know just under my bust so I didn't really need to bring it in but if you needed to you could totally do it. The length was perfect as well. I really like this dress. I ummed and art about getting it. I may go back. I don't know. I really really liked it. I just felt like it stayed really well on. It was nice and flowy and just so well for now like for summer just to wear like here to there. You don't even need to wear shapewear underneath or anything like that. You could wear little shorties. Depends on you know how you like to do things but I really really like this one. This dress retails for $25. Next up this one was probably the favorite of everything that I tried on and when, when I looked at it on the hanger I was like eh I don't know another long dress but I was like let me just try it on because I really loved the tie-dye and the like ombre finish and this dress looked amazing on. I really really liked it. So I'm in the middle of editing and I realized that for some reason I didn't record myself with my camera 
the front of this dress. I did realize that I hadn't recorded the back, so I popped on the dress and recorded the back. And I never went through my stuff to see that I didn't do the front. So I went back to the store to redo it again. And they had clothes to change rooms. So I couldn't go to that store. I went over to another store and they just didn't have my size. So I tried it on in a size 16. So I'll show you a little bit of the footage in the size that I have the footage that I have on my camera. And then I'll show you the rest on the size 16, which was way too small for me, but it was the biggest size that they had. So I just wanted to show you guys and that you know that. So the top bit has that shirt elastic up here. So it sits really well. It just like molds to your body. And then the straps had that little like wavy kind of strap. So it's nice and thick as well to cover your bra strap. And then it sat really nicely down, nice and like a straight look. So not too, too fitted, but not too baggy either. So it sat really really nicely and then you had two little slits on the side for me perfect length like they came like even not even to the knee so I didn't even have to feel like they were coming up too high I just really liked it the color tone was really nice it just gave me like ice cream vibes as well it was so so pretty I feel like it was very flattering to me it was adorable I was like ready to get it and everything uh the only drawback was it was that fabric that scrunches a lot so you may have to iron it you may be one that when you wash it you would need to iron it out the kinks didn't really bother me at all I just felt like it kind of because the dress had that kind of ombre look uh, you couldn't really tell that it wasn't like ironed per se like it had some creases through it however you know when you wash something there's a lot of creases in it so you'd have to iron this one a little bit and me personally I'm not one for ironing this dress retails for $35. Next up, I saw a white dress and I was like, oh, I love a good white dress. And I really like the pattern on this. It kind of is like that. It's like a, I want to say like a bedspread, but if you get what I mean, it has like those little fine dots here and there. And it's kind of got that like uh, raised look of it. I make no sense, I know. <laughs> However, it was such a pretty dress. The straps are a little bit too thin here, like you would end up seeing your bra. So that doesn't bother me too much at all because most of the time that's the look that I do. <laughs> Now I tried this one in a 22 but I felt like it was a little too big for me up the top. There was a lot of room just on the side here and at the front so I may have needed to size down. I feel like this one still fit me. Down the bottom I don't know a size 20 may have been a little bit tight because I feel like the 22 was perfect down the bottom. So it has a little elastic in the middle to kind of draw you in and the length was beautiful. It had a little teared bit on the end as well. Such a pretty dress. Underneath it actually had lining, which I love because especially if you're wearing white, you certainly want lining. And I guess because of the fabric, it has tiny little holes here and there in it, you need the lining underneath. A nice, like, thickish, not thick, but if you, if you know when you're thinking like a quilt in your bed, back to the bed references, that's what, like, it made me feel. So it felt really, really nice. A really great dress, one that you could just, like, pop on and off you go anywhere. I love the flowiness. I'm really actually liking that these flowy dresses are in because I feel like for summer that's perfect if you want something nice and flowy, not to feel restricted or anything in any way. I mean, I always wear shapewear, so I'm always restricted, but for me that's normal and I'm just so used to wearing them. But if you don't like to wear shapewear, like, this flowy stuff is, like, perfect. And this dress retails for $35. So next up, I saw this dress and I really loved the green and white checks. And that sort of drew me to the dress because I was like, oh, I love the look of that. And I want to try it on because I love dresses. And this one for me, not my favorite at all. I feel like it didn't really suit me. It was a little bit frumpy on me, but I still love the green and white checkers. Now this one has buttons coming all the way down. So if you wanted to, you could unbutton it or button it however you like. The only reason I didn't love it was because I feel like there was nothing to draw you in at the waist. I personally would wear a belt or something to cinch me in at the waist because that's the look that I like. However, if you want something that's flowy, that's just like carefree, this dress adorable this just has pockets I mean who doesn't love pockets I feel like when you have pockets it's like a 10 out of 10 for something so that was really great too now I tried that one in a size 22 I found that it was a little tight in the bust and then a little bit big down the bottom so I feel like it didn't work for my body shape but if you like something like that definitely go check it out now that one retails for $35 when I was doing like some online stuff looking in lockdown, I was really eyeing this top and it, has, it comes in a few colors. So it's just a three quarter 
plain ribbed everyday kind of top that I feel like I would wear it everywhere and anywhere i love the blue it's such a pretty blue and it's very similar to some that i already have from kmart but those ones are like bodysuits and this is just a top so it sat really well now i tried it on in 18 because i like mine to be a little bit more fitted so i grabbed the 18 and i feel like that fit me just fine it is such a staple item that you could get that I know they had yellow. I'm pretty sure they had white. So something that you could wear pretty much all year round because in winter you could wear it under a jacket. In summer you could just wear it like that. If you like to hide your arms, perfect. If you just like to have that look, excellent. The tag didn't have a price. So I will write on the screen the price of this one for you. So next up, I saw this grey denim skirt and I was like, that is cute. From far, I was like, eh, it looks a bit short, but I just love the colour. And I thought with that blue top, they would go so good together. And they do. They look so great. The skirt actually wasn't as short as I thought it was. Like, it actually was reasonable. And I feel like it looked so good on me. Now, I grabbed it in a 22 because I wanted to make sure that it wouldn't be too tight. And I feel like it was the perfect size for me. The length was actually not too bad. Just above the knee. At the back, I honestly would have preferred it to be a little bit longer. But my ass kind of brings things up. So, you know, that's who I am. The colour, adorable. Like, it's just that, like, I know... No one ever uses grey as adorable, but I meant like just the, the fadiness of it. I just really, really liked it. Like it, it's different to having black or blue. It's just nice to have a different kind of a shade of grey. There was a button, there was a zipper, and best of all, there was stretch. My favourite thing on the dress was the like the bottom bit, the fraying bit. I love that, like, because it just reminds me of tassels. So a little bit of fraying on the bottom looked really good. There was pockets in the back. Pockets in the front. There was a whole pocket party. This skirt, really, really, really liked it. Now, this skirt retails for $20. To be honest, I feel like that's such a bargain. So, next up, I just grabbed this top. It also came in, I think it was pants or something. I saw a few things with this pattern. I really liked the pattern. I thought, let me try on a top because all I've been doing is trying on dresses. And... I don't think it really suited me that well. I feel like the style wasn't great. Just I guess the top bit here felt a little bit off. I did try it on a 20. Perhaps I needed a 22 just to see. Um, there was room to move, but I guess if you want to wear it out and flowy, I would have definitely have sized up. As you guys know, I don't wear things out and flowy. I like it tucked in. And I feel like once you tuck it in, it makes such a difference to the top. It actually looked so much better. And I feel like it's something that you could definitely wear. At the back section, there was like a little button if you wanted to button it. I didn't really see the point of that, but it's just something extra to the top. And I guess other people can see it if you can't. <laughs> the colors of that top were really, really quite nice. And that nice now for like summer. This top retailed for $12. And lastly, another dress. Of course, I mean, I love dresses and it's summer. So this dress I tried on in a size 22. And at first, I feel like the lace kind of made me feel like mm, it's a little bit grandma-ish. But actually, once you put it on, it wasn't too bad. Now, it's a dress that you could wear off the shoulder or up the top. The way I see it, I feel like off the shoulder just made it look a little bit younger and flirtier. And I feel like it looked better than with the shoulder up. I did like the little lace bit, so that kind of suited it well. So it had a little bit of an overlay here and it came in at the waist. It had a little tassel string hanging down the bottom. That was just there for decorations, I, I believe. I don't think you could like alter how much you pulled the dress in because it was elastic at the waist anyway. But the dress was actually pretty. The length was perfect. Really, really actually liked it in the end from something that I was like, eh, I'm not sure about. I feel like it stayed really well on me. It was a little bit short at the front and it came a little bit lower at the back. So it sort of had that high, low look going, which you can tell more by the side. Really, really pretty. Something that you could wear like, you know, to your high tees or to a girl's day. Some, you know, black shoes or nude shoes or something like that. And off you go. This dress retails for $20. And that is everything that I tried on at Best and Less today. It was quite a few things. I was literally in there going, what's in my size? I've been eyeing this black and white checkered skirt for such a long time. And it only went up to a 16. So I'm guessing they didn't have it in plus size. And it was just something that I've looked quite a while just thinking when are the fitting rooms going to open so then i can try it on and unfortunately i couldn't but i feel like there were so many things best and less is really up their game i find and there's heaps of stuff that you could check out 
What I also like is that they'll have like a pattern and then they'll have it in like a top, a skirt or pants or a dress. And I quite like that sort of, if you like a certain looking like pattern and you don't want it for, for example, in a dress, you could get it in a top. And I actually quite like that. So that way, you know, it suits a few people because depending on what you actually like. Also, what I love about Best and Less is the PJs, Christmas PJs. They have so many. So if you haven't been, go check them out. The store I went to looked like they got a whole new bunch of stock in because I've been seeing that online. People were like complaining that they had advertised PJs, but they didn't have them in stock. So this store had like the mum, the dad one. So it was really cute. One of these days, if, if and when I ever have a family, I'm definitely going to take like Christmas pictures in pyjamas with like matching. I just love that. Maybe I should have got like a onesie and dressed up Chippy and we could do Christmas pictures with Chippy. <laughs> So comment down below and let me know what was your favorite item that I tried on today. Also, have you bought something from Best and Less lately? If so, let me know. Let me know if you've actually bought any of the stuff that I tried on. I know some stores may carry different stock. Mainly, they do carry the same stuff. They did also have shoes in this store. I know sometimes I don't really notice the shoes or I don't see them. But I did see them in the store and they were pretty stocked. I didn't try any on because I was sweating after trying all the clothes on and I was ready to leave. But I may do that another time. And that is the end of the video, guys. I really appreciate you all, all the people who give my videos a thumbs up, who comment. I appreciate it so much. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.